वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन टेक्नोमेट्रिक चैप्टर सवर टुडे आई गोइंग अवर पार्ट्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ अवर टेक्नोमेट्रिक इक्वेशंस फॉर रिलेटेड sin x cos x एंड tan x सो स्टूडेंट्स आई स्टार्ट अवर एक्सरसाइज 3.4 थर्ड क्वेश्चन फाइंड द प्रिंसिपल एंड जनरल सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ द cot x -3 यस स्टूडेंट्स cot x आई कन्वर्टेड इनटू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन द tan x सो व्हाट इज द tan x it's a reciprocal of cot so reciprocal of minus 1 by root 3 now students cot is a and tan is a negative in which quadrant so you must be draw our all fc tc wise our solutions tan and cot negative definitely it is your fourth quadrant either in your second quadrant so I just rotate by anti-clockwise. Students, this anti-clockwise rotation, I just show up my answer one of the here and one of the here by the solution of 10x. Yes, students. First of all, I write down the basic formula. What is the formula? If 10x is equal to a, where a belongs to r, so what is the solution? x is equal to n pi plus alpha, n belongs to z, and where alpha is your tan inverse a, it means tan alpha is equal to a, that value I apply here in the solution, tan alpha is equal to a, my a value is a students only minus 1 by root 3, now chain where is negative, second and fourth quadrant, so second quadrant I just recommend here pi, here 2 pi, so pi minus pi by, when 10 is 1 by root 3, yes it is 30 degree, otherwise 2 pi minus pi by 3, I mean pi by 6, so my answer is a pi pi by 6 or 6 to the 12 minus 1, 11 pi by 6, this answers your final value for your Principal solutions. Why it is called principal solutions? Because the degree is under 360. Only one rotation cover in the anti-clockwise. So here 5 pi by 6, 11 pi by 6. Our two principal solutions. So here I, first answer is done. It is a principal. Yes, a principal solution. And students, this all values applying here one of the least angle so that's called our general solution what is the least angle pi pi by 6 n belongs to z that is our this our general solution yes you know what the meaning for general solution students if you rotate anti-clockwise many rotations consider n is a zero your first answer is 5 pi by 6. n is 1. So pi plus 5 pi by 6. How many? Pi plus 5 pi by 6. 11 pi by 6. That becomes this one. If you end taking 2, then 2 pi plus 5 pi by 6, they're going to new rotations here. 3 rotation, 4 rotation. They completely rotate, 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 rotate. If you clockwise rotation also true, and taking here our negative numbers minus 1, minus 2 and here students our first question the third one is happily done. Now students I going ahead one more fourth question find out principal solutions and the general solutions it's also very easy cos x given I translate into sin x so what is sin x 1 upon cos x it is 1 upon 2 but minus same drawing I explain students. All as this is where our sin x is negative. Yes, sin negative is a here, either here, in the third, either fourth quadrant. So I just rotate here by anti-clockwise rotations. Here pi plus and here 2 pi minus. Only one rotation you cover for a principal solution. So students, here sin x is equal to minus half. First of all, I write down my formula. You know formula? If sin x is equal to a, 
where a belongs to our range minus 1 to 1, solution is a what? n pi plus minus 1 is to n into alpha, where n belongs to z and alpha equal to sin inverse a. So, what is the a? Sin alpha. So, sin alpha is equal to a. My a value is fixed, minus half. Yes, students. Now, here I going to my principal solution. Sin negative in third quadrant, in fourth quadrant. So, my answer is a pi plus when sin half 30, pi by 6. Otherwise, here take 2 pi minus 30. So, my answer is a totally cover. 7 pi by 6. Or here, our 12 minus 1, 11 pi by 6. Students, here, here, 11 pi by 6. 30, 30, 30, 30, 11 times. And here, it is 7 pi by 6. Means 30, 30, 30, 7 times. Yes, 2, 1, 0. And here, 3, 30. These are our two. Both our, what? Principal solutions. Yes, it is your principal solution. Students, I again repeat you. What is meaning for principle? It is nothing in anti-clockwise, either clockwise. Only one rotation angle belonging, that is your principal solutions. And what is the least? 7 pi by 6 or 11 pi by 6? 7 pi by 6. So apply here, 7 pi by 6. So n pi minus 1 is to n and here alpha is your apply least degree. n belongs to z. That's our over. This it is our over. General solution and here our students finally general solution. If you rotate the infinity ways, second rotation also, by the third rotation also, the one by one, if you rotate, then you moving in the what? General solutions. You also converting the clockwise. Huh? If you end putting our negative value, mostly you convert it in the anti-clockwise and must be draw this figure. Yes, students, here our done. Question number. Four. Now I move ahead. Question number five. Now students, general solution and in the particular solutions, principal solutions related, one more numerical. Question five. But only asking, they are general solutions. Very easy. Cos 4x, cos 2x. I just take inside. Cos 4x minus, cos 2x is equal to zero. Now students, you know that this is the property. S plus S. S minus S. C plus C and C minus C. Yes, that all I known. 2SC, 2CS, 2CC and minus 2SS. This property you must be students by heart. Now applications very easy. Here cos minus cos. It means this property utilize. Minus 2. S means sin. Again S means sin is equal to 0. An angle divided must be to one of the 4x plus 2x and other 4x minus 2x. Necessary you one time taking the angle additions and second are the subtractions. So what you get? 6 by 2, 3x. Here 2x by 2 means x. 4x minus 2x is 2x by 2 is only x. So minus 2 never 0. You have to sin 3x 0, otherwise you have to sin x equal to 0. Now, sin 0's value, yes, when the zeros, every n pi. And here also, your n pi divided by 3 and belongs to z. Similarly here, n pi, n belongs to z. So final my answer over here, our general solution finish there. 1 of the n pi by 3, n belongs to z. Union, secondly n pi, n belongs to z. These two answers, our in union form, it's your our general solution. Students, you are not asking our principal solutions, therefore I not indicate here in the principal solution wise, only asking their general solutions. Now moving ahead, continue our question number 6. Sixth question is a cos 3x cos x minus cos 2x is equal to 0. Cos 3x 
plus cos x minus cos 2x. Students here three three terms given. So don't worry. Always you take highest angle with lowest angle. Highest with lowest already given. So I just here utilize c plus c. It means this property. This property students I applying in this part. And what is the value for c plus c? Yes, two c c two cos cos. And here cos two x is same as angle divided by two. Sure, necessary. And adding the both angle three x plus x. Subtract the both angle three x minus x. So what you get two cos four by two. It means two x. Here cos x only and minus cos two x is equal to zero. Now this cos two x. And this one, students, you take out the common. So cos 2x remaining are 2 cos x minus 1 is equal to zero. Now here there are two individually answer these and this. You taking the both separately and they cover two. Here two answers forming. So I just dissolving first term equal to zero and then after second term equal to zero. It's very easy. That's why. This first term equal to zero. First of all, I just apply cos two x is equal to zero. Otherwise, two cos x minus one equal to zero. Now, what is the cos zero's value? Yes, at the angle of every two n pi plus one pi by two. Yes, every two n plus one pi by two. That is the value for our. Zero sets and same as two. Now cos solutions. So in directly students here x is divided. There are two n plus one. This two is divided in forming. It is pi by four. And here n belongs to z same. That's our first case is done. Now I just go into two cos x minus one. That also same is two cos x is equal to one. So cos x is equal to half. And here students cos half. Then I go to solution wise. X is equal to two n pi plus or minus alpha. Yes, where alpha is equal to what? Which degree cos is half in the first quadrant? Because anti-clockwise it is sixty degree pi by three. So x is equal to two n pi plus or minus pi by three and belongs to z. Now finally our solutions for general solution two n plus one pi by four. N belongs to Z. Union. The second answer also write down. Two n pi plus or minus pi by three. N belongs to Z. Students here, cos is positive. Maybe in first quadrant, maybe in fourth quadrant also true. Huh? But I write down first angle to least to least degree. That's why I write down pi by three. And here, students, our these questions is happily here done. Now, students, I going ahead one more numerical in the exercise seventh one. Sine two x plus cos x is equal to zero. Yes, students, this is a IMP questions for exam level. First of all, you look at that in the both place angle are not same. Here two x degree and here x degree. So, students, I convert in the same degree. Sine two x formula I known that yes, which is two sine x cos x. And here cos x is same. Now this cos x and this cos x, you taking the common outside. You have to common take. Remaining are two sin x plus one. Now very easy. First of all, cos x is equal to zero. Or secondly, two sin x plus one is equal to zero. Now students, again repeat. Cos zero at the every ninety degree, clock or anti clock, which is two n plus one pi by two. N belongs to Z. That's my first answer done. And here, sine x is equal to minus half. Yes, sine where negative in all STC wise. Yes, sine negative in the. In this case, either third, either fourth. In anti-clockwise I rotation. Here I first doing to third. So x is equal to n pi minus one this to n into alpha. Where students, where is the alpha? 
in this case pi plus when half when half it is pi by 6 so my answer is here pi by 6 yes you answer write down in third quadrant either fourth quadrant both correct but according to your textbook answer you write down the first least angle so here answer is also confirm n pi minus 1 is to n and answer is a 5 by 6 where n belongs to z now this answer and this answer both write down in general solution so students i just write down general solution finally 2n plus 1 pi by 2 n belongs to z union second n pi plus minus 1 is to n 5 pi by 6 in the n belongs to z here our both in union form that's my final answer but this numerical is a imp student sir yes students before going next numerical here i just my mistakes pi plus pi by 6 which is a 7 pi by 6 sorry yeah, my mistake there so here just i write down 7 pi by 6 and here also you correct your answer is 7 pi by 6 actually pi plus pi by 6 second quadrant so 6 pi plus pi which is 7 pi by 6 not 5 huh? my mistake there just i correct you also correct them now i go to next numericals now same as students i going to one more numericals sex square 2x is equal to 1 minus tan 2x before operating any identity you check both are degree same yes degree same so students see this is sex square 2x i translate into tan 2x so identity i know 1 plus 10 square theta is equal to sex square theta. I just write down degree same. And here 1 minus 10 to x is also same. Now students this one and this one are cancelled. Only I have sex square to x plus 10 to x is equal to 0. Why plus? This right side value I check into left side. Now common checking 10 to x. We have to only tan 2x plus 1. Now here students, there are two answers create. One of the tan 2x is equal to 0. Otherwise, tan 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now what is the tan 0 set? Yes, it is same as 0 set of sin n pi. So here I write down 2x is equal to n pi. n belongs to Z. So my answer is n pi by 2. n belongs to Z. A first answer. Same moving here. Tan 2x is equal to minus 1. Now here students. When tan negative. In the all STC wise. You must be going to this property. Yeah? Tan negative is here. Either here. In anti-clockwise rotation. What is the first degree cover? This one. Yes. And here your degree is a second quadrant. Pi minus. So I write down here 2x n pi plus alpha where alpha is equal to 10 inverse a. So 10 alpha is equal to a and what is the a? Minus 1. That's why I return here pi minus pi by 4. My answer is a 3 pi by 4. This degree 3 pi by 4 it means 45, 45, 45, 135 degree in the second quadrant. So in general solutions n pi plus 3 pi by 4 and n belongs to z is same and this add to divide it by each so you get the answer n pi by 2 3 pi by 8 and n belongs to z that's your final answer now after the students you both answer making in the union form and here answer is students easily and happily over here now students slowly slowly i going to one more numerical Question 9. This is the last question for this exercise. Sin x, sin 3x and sin 5x. Yes, students. After this exercise, I go to illustration. Huh? Here, students, you just check highest degree with the lowest degree. This is the highest and this is the lowest. Both I check combined. So, sin 5x plus sin x and other as it is. Now, here, students, one more time, I revise your formula. S plus S s minus s c plus c and c minus c you know that but you must be write down in your notebook huh? 2sc 2cs 
2 cc and minus 2 ss and here our property utilize this one s plus s yes 2 sc so 2 sine cos divided by 2 shear and other is same as I just write down sin 3x equal to 0. So you adding that 5x plus x, subtract them 5x minus x. So what you getting 2 sin 6x by 2. Yes, 3x. Here 4x by 2, which is 2x. And now students, you easily take the common in the both part sin 3x is equal to common that and remaining r as it is. So I just common taking sin 3x. Remaining I have 2 cos 2x plus 1. And now here students you create two different answers. First of all, first answer is sin 3x is equal to 0. So what is the sin 0 set? Yes, it is n pi. And my first answer is create n pi by 3. N belongs to z. This done. Now otherwise. Second value 2 cos 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So definitely I am saying cos 2x is equal to minus half. And this answer students I explain by here. In the cos 2x is minus half. Yes students. When cos is negative. Cos is negative in all STC wise. All STC. Anti-clockwise I rotate. Cos negative is of second quadrant, third quadrant. So your answer, first answer in second quadrant, after the third quadrant. So a solution is a 2x is equal to, must be right here, degree a, n pi, sorry, 2n pi, solution of cos x, not n pi, 2n pi, plus or minus alpha, where alpha equal to what? Cos inverse a. So cos alpha is equal to a. So what is the a? minus half and in which quadrant cos negative second and third I write down second level pi minus pi by here pi and students when cos is half every 60 degree 60 means pi by 3 so my answer is 2 pi by 3 and this degree I just put up here so 2n pi plus or minus 2 pi by 3 and belongs to Z. Now 2, 2, 2, all divided. You are getting only n pi plus or minus pi by 3 and belongs to Z. And this answer, this answer, both of you write down in general solution. Yes, students, here your final answer. What is the answer? So one of the n pi by 3 and belongs to Z. Union, second is a n pi plus or minus pi by 3 and n belongs to z. Students here answer also write down in third quadrant pi plus pi by 3 is also correct but according to rule wise you write down first degree to least to least. Okay students here our exercise done. Now I going to one more illustrations that level questions. Now students I going to our illustrations illustration number 18 after our exercise 3.4. Students, in last part, I already explained up to illustration 17 before our exercise 3.3. Now, I going ahead to this topic continue for example 18. Find the principal solutions only, not asking to general solutions. Principal solution means only and only they cover to one rotation degree. Sin x root 3 by 2 positive. When sin is positive, all as TC wise. Students in your textbook not given this drawing, but you must be draw the drawing. Eh? Sign positive is here. Either here in anti-clockwise rotation. Your answer in first quadrant and second quadrant. So sin x is root 3 by 2. Yes, when sin root 3 by 2, 60 degree. 60 means pi by 3. Otherwise, pi minus pi by 3. Because here are pi. Here is 0 degree. So my answer is pi by 3 and here 2 pi by 3 these two are our what it is a principal solution they not cover to more than our one rotation so my answer is over it is a principal 
solution and here this over our example 18 now students same as to example 19 to cover by this rule find the principal solution of 10x is equal to minus 1 by root 3 yes students here also same 10 negative when 10 negative i draw the again this drawing all as tc wise this value i apply in the all as tc wise 10 negative values in which quadrant in this 10 negative or second and fourth quadrant students in second and fourth quadrant related i just write the answer second quadrant here pi minus and fourth quadrant here 2 pi minus so your chain x is a minus 1 by root 3 your answer x is second quadrant pi minus when 10 is a 1 by root 3 yes it is a 30 degree means pi by 6 otherwise 2 pi minus pi by 6 so you're getting students final answer 5 pi by 6 or 11 pi by 6 12 into 2 students here 30 30 30 5 times yes it is 150 degree means here you are 5 pi by 6 and next of the 11 pi by 6 means 30 30 30 30 11 times that is 330 degree and here students our both are our principal solutions is over yes you are only asking it is our principal solutions now moving ahead example 20 this also very simple and easy question students example 20 find out the solutions of sin x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 students a solution asking so very easy first of all again sin x is negative so I just draw our unit circle all f t c yes when sin is negative here in the second quadrant, third quadrant and in the fourth quadrant in anti-clockwise rotations this anti-clockwise here pi you are going to pi plus and here also 2 pi minus the degree is a uh, root 3 by 2 when sin is root 3 by 2 it is 60 degree 60 degree means pi by 3 here also pi by 3 so my answer is a 4 pi by 3 either here 3 to the 6 minus 1 means pi pi by 3 this angle I utilize in this solution so for sin x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 my solution is what n pi general solution asking plus minus 1 is to n into alpha where n belongs to z and alpha is what sin inverse a it is sin alpha is equal to a sin alpha is equal to a and what is the a a is your purely minus root 3 by 2 value and that value i just showing about to third quadrant either fourth quadrant so it is pi plus pi by 3 either 2 pi minus pi by 3 my answer is a 4 pi by 3 and secondly here 5 pi by 3 students but you write down only and only what only first degree 4 pi by 3 and here over this sum n pi minus 1 is to n and here 4 pi by 3 n belongs to z this answer is your finally general solution of sin x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 so does this only not one answer huh? it is infinitely many answers only n you change in z one by one then you get this value yes students now i move ahead our example number 21 now students after ending these questions i going to one more numerical example 21 cos x is equal to half here also same i explain cos is half it is positive when cos positive according to this law all s t c cos is positive in fourth quadrant and first quadrant if i rotate anti-clockwise your answer is covered to first either fourth quadrant and this wise i solutions my answer is over so if cos x is equal to half so what is the cos x solution every 2n pi plus or minus alpha n belongs to z where alpha is covered to our cos inverse a 
it means cos alpha is equal to what students a and a is a nothing a is your degree at the place of one half now when cos is half yes it is a 60 degree 60 means pi by 3 otherwise here pi by 3 0 to moving pi by 3 degree otherwise 2 pi minus pi by 3 so my answer is students finally pi by 3 or here 3 to the 6 minus 1 5 pi by 3 this answer to here or 5 pi by 3 if you check in 60 60 60 5 times it is how many 300 so this degree you are both cover but what is the least degree that I put it here values for x is equal to 2m pi plus or minus pi by 3 and here you are this solution is done for example number 21 now students after this ending this questions example 21 I going ahead to 22 this 22 is also students it is a IMP questions exam level 10 to x equal to minus cot x plus pi by 3 so first of all cot and 10 translate into same like terms it is possible yes possible cot actually convert based on 90 so here 10 90 plus give an angle why plus right already minus outside this property you know students 10 90 plus theta which is cot theta but negative in second quadrant that property I utilize here so 10 to x we get just pi by 2 and pi by 3 means 3 pi plus 2 pi it is 5 pi by 6 plus x plus this I addition huh? pi by 2 plus pi by 3 just LCM taking 3 pi plus 2 pi by 6 it is 5 pi by 6 and that I put it now change solutions this consider it is one of the A so what is 10 solutions 2x is equal to n pi plus alpha and alpha is what 5 pi by 6 plus x alpha is what indirectly 10 inverse a so now 2x minus x this 2x and this x both I separated so my answer is over here x is equal to n pi 5 pi by 6 n belongs to z and this your final general solution of this example number students 21 now students after ending these examples I ending this part further explanations for remaining illustrations and our supplementary chapter backside given in your textbook see that that I explain in the next part okay thank you bye bye